Today we're going to go through the steps in order to replace the fuel pump on this 2004 1500 Dodge Ram. One of the first things you want to do before doing any repairs to the fuel system is bleed the pressure off the system. Be sure and capture any fuel in a safe container. You always want to disconnect the negative battery cable before doing any repairs. In order to do a proper fuel pump replacement, we need to clean the inside of the tank and that will require the removal of the tank. To begin the repair, we'll remove the fuel filler hose and the vent line. This is a push type fitting. Disconnect the tank strap. Lower the tank while working the fuel filler hose and vent line over the top of the frame. With the tank in this position, we can disconnect the emissions tube, disconnect the electrical connection, be sure and slide the safety tab over before disconnecting, disconnect the fuel line. There may be residual pressure when disconnecting the fuel line. Be sure and capture this in a safe container. With all lines disconnected, we can now remove the tank from the vehicle. You always want to be sure and clean the outside of the tank before removing the module. This will reduce the risk of contaminants getting in the tank. With the outside of the tank cleaned, we're now ready to remove the module assembly. We will use a non-ferrous brass punch and turn the lock ring counterclockwise. Always be sure and inspect the locking ring, making sure it is safe to reuse in installation. There is a reservoir at the bottom of this module assembly. Be sure and capture any fuel into a safe container. At this point, we need to drain the remaining fuel into a safe container and then clean the inside of the tank. We want to be sure the tank is as clean as possible to allow a clean environment for the fuel pump. With the inside of the tank thoroughly clean, we're ready to install the new AirTex fuel pump module. We'll place the seal into its position. You will see that it's clearly marked on the top of the tank where the locating tab for the fuel pump module is placed. With the fuel pump module properly positioned in the tank, we'll reinstall our locking ring. Making sure to use a non-ferrous brass punch and turning the locking ring clockwise. While raising the tank into position, be sure and work the fuel filler hose and vent line over the top of the frame. With the fuel tank raised into this position, we'll reconnect the fuel line electrical connection, and the emissions hose. Finish raising the tank and reinstall the tank strap. With the tank into position, now reinstall the fuel filler hose and vent line. With the repair complete, reconnect the negative battery cable. Cycle the key two to three times in order to charge the system. Start the vehicle and be sure and monitor the fuel pressure making sure it's within vehicle specifications. Now before we remove our pressure gauge, we'll shut the vehicle off and bleed the pressure using our pressure gauge, making sure to capture any fuel into a safe container. 